Hey guys, welcome back to Coughing Up Stitches. I am um, just here to show you today some of the Halloween decorations I've bought at Publix of all places. Um, just went over one day to get me a drink and seen all this stuff and I was like, whew, I can use that, I can use that, I can do this for this. So I just got really excited and I pretty much bought everything. But they had a Jack and a Sally and a Oogie Boogie. I, I was wanting to call him Booger. I could not think of his name for some reason. But the reason I didn't get those is because I have them kind of like coming up a little bit. And it looked like an onion or a turnip. Which is actually what they do in Scotland. They carve turnips, not pumpkins for Halloween. Um, but that's what they looked like instead of looking like a pumpkin. And it was just their head. And I was like, mm, no, I'm going to pass. If I was going to get one, it would probably been Oogie Boogie because onion turnip kind of matches his personality but that would have been it but also have um a very special cup that got made for me um by a lady here in alabama she runs sassy southern creations so if you like the cup look her up on facebook and give her some business <laughs> she does shipping so um she, she also made this shirt <laughs> for me and these earrings right here so each side you put them together and they make, um, you know, ghost face. So she does some really awesome work. I've got a couple of other shirts from her you guys will probably see on here. But I wore this one because I had earrings to match and I was like, ah, oh, might as well look halfway decent on here. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'll show you the cup and then we'll get into the public stuff and a couple of other things that I have over here I want to show you guys that I think would be good and they're cheap and you don't have to spend a whole lot of money so this is the cup she made me it says the blood of my clients as you guys know i'm a hairdresser so it makes perfect sense <laughs> for me um i got some couple of bloody hands over here a pair of bloody shears right here and in the top you've got this little like ice type thing where like blood has went into snow or melted onto ice which I love that factor and a pair of bloody scissors a bloody hatchet and a bloody knife so I absolutely fell in love with this I hope you guys like it as well it also glows in the dark but I've not had it outside today because I've been inside my house drinking coffee all day so this is like the best thing I love this cup oh and this size actually holds a holds five cups and I've had like three today so if I get jittery or I'm rambling like I am now that's probably why I'm a little jittery but um anyway we'll get into the public stuff I'm gonna tell you about this one first they are originally $13.99 and I found a bunch of these over you know in their Halloween stuff several of them together and it had an $8.99 price tag underneath it so when they rung it up, I said, hey, it's supposed to be $8.99, not $13.99. So they went over and I checked it out. And since it was more than just this one, they actually let me have it for free. It's not that they just changed the price. They have this thing called Publix Promise. So if you see something and it's wrong and you ask them about it and they go over there and like, oh, well, there was a whole bunch over there for that price. It wasn't just a random thing somebody set back up there. They have what they call Publix Promise and they gave this to me for free. I tried to pay for it at least the $8.99. They wouldn't let me. They said no, it's free. So this one I got for free. Then I have a black one. I love bats. If you can't, you know, tell yet. This one has bats. This one has bats. But I really like this one just because it had the bats, a spooky house. A, a spooky tree kind of reminds me of the whopping willow from Harry Potter in a way I think I got that right I haven't watched Harry Potter in so long I need to get some pizza and watch Harry Potter but really like this cauldron you can use it for cereal if you wanted to um, if you wanted that big of a coffee cup you could probably do it, it doesn't I just took the oh so these uh, cauldrons are 40 ounces so if you want 40 ounces of coffee, you could use coffee. But soup, cereal, candy, yarn bowl, 
which is what I'm planning on using it for. But just a couple other things you could use it for if you can't think of anything or you have 15 yarn bowls like I do and probably don't use half of them. Then I got this little dude and he was originally $8.99. But he's a pumpkin and he has, they don't have the eyes out. The eyes are still like in there, but his mouth is out. And I was just like, if you could get some yellow, like a pale yellow or really bright orange or even black, really. It could look like pumpkin guts or like green. He's vomiting. You know, just <laughs> really gross stuff with it, really, with yarn. But I absolutely love, like, the big mouth being open and stuff. It kind of reminds me of, like, some scary movies when this big thing is, like, coming to swallow you whole. Almost like Smile, you know, um, if anybody watched that movie. It wasn't really my cup of tea, but because it was just very corny to me. It didn't make no sense. But when she was opening her mouth, totally, this pumpkin. <laughs> Uh, this little guy I got for a friend of mine. He really likes Janomis. That's what his family calls them, Janomis. So, <laughs> I got this for him. He hasn't seen it yet, so I really hope that you're not watching this. But I got this for him to put up in his office. But it's got a little pumpkin. It's got a little owl with the little bats on here. But the one thing he's not on... Oh, a little orange suit. The one thing he will not like about this is the eyes are gone. He likes the Janomis with the eyes. So... That's the only thing he won't like, but he'll deal with it. If he wants to, he can draw some or paint some on there. He's very artistic. He can figure it out. The next thing I got was uh, salt and pepper shakers. I was looking for ghost ones because ghosts are in this year, but I couldn't find any I liked. I was just like, they're so boring and they're so plain. I want something a little bit more exciting. So I've had Hocus Pocus on my mind for a while because I had not watched Hocus Pocus 2 yet until the other night disappointed but not disappointed like it's never going to be as good as the first one i'm not going to give you guys any spoilers in case you was like me and you didn't watch it because i got good and bad reviews last year so i was like i'll just wait but i liked the backstory they gave you i didn't like the fact that there was no older characters in it besides uh bet mittler sarah jessica parker and um the chick that plays Mary. I can never remember her name. I know she's got a weird last name, but I never can remember her name. But that was the only three originals in there. And that, that kind of bothered me in a way because I wanted to see more, but I knew going into it that that was not going to be it because it done been said. But I am hoping that they will do a spinoff um, maybe of the other, other people that you find out. But I will say that Winifred's emotions in this movie, it made you love her and not hate her. So if you have any opinions on Hocus Pocus 2, go ahead and leave your comments down below and we'll have a discussion about it because I was really like teeter-tottering. Like in the middle, I was like, man, this movie sucks. But then when I got to the end, I was in tears. So I really liked that movie. But this gave me Hocus Pocus vibes. My um, little salt and pepper shaker, the little broom where it's purple with the little swirlies. And then I don't know if you can see it, but even the um, little cauldron there has the swirlies. Gave me very hocus pocus vibes, but it's just a salt and pepper shaker. And I don't have any, so I needed them. And I was like, mm, you know what? I'll get them. Hocus pocus. Maybe I'll do my kitchen in hocus pocus next year. Who knows? I think that's all I have that I got from there. It is. I thought I had more. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just thought I did. Maybe. Maybe I'll see something else here in a minute that I've skipped over. Oh, here it is. I was like, I know I had something else. This thing. To put your little notions in. A pair of scissors. Your little darning yarn needles right here. If you want to, maybe a couple of hooks that you're working with. Or maybe like a tiny ball of yarn for a project. Or if you're just wanting to remember to get some more of that. This would be perfect for that. Obviously, this is normally used as a serving platter, but I was like, notions, like holder right here. Perfect. Scissors, uh, darning needles, yarn, or hooks I'm already working with on other projects just so I have a place. And it's a bat, and I love it. And yes, there's a little chip right there, but considering the fact that I have pets, um, that one chip's not going to bother me, but I could probably take like a metallic pen and color that in and nobody know. I may do that later. But yeah, this was the only, I was like, I know there's something else, but this was the only other thing. This was originally $9.99, 25% off everything that I got. 
So for everything but this one, because this one was free, I paid $37.91 at Publix for all this really cool like Halloween gear that will be out all year round in my coffin. So I was really excited about that. Um, let's see. These, I get these every year for my project bags because like I said, I travel a lot and you know, I have friends in Tennessee. I go see my grandmother in North Carolina and I live in Alabama. So I travel a lot. So I love these four travel bags because it's enough room for a small project or if you're just getting started on a big project. I've got my pumpkin spice latte blanket in one of these right now because I just don't feel like finishing it, so I put it up. But I have this. Um, I got this one this year, this one this year, and the Happy Halloween one this year. I take this one to work with me just because it's kid friendly and happy right now, and I guess we're gonna be having kids wanting Halloween candy, so I take that one right now. But these are really good for a dollar twenty-five. You can't beat them. So if you're balling on a budget like I am, these would be perfect. And I like that they they don't stay open. They you can zip them closed, and that's really good for me because I take them to work with me, and you know hair can get in there if you don't have some kind of security. So I really like it for that aspect. And then the couple of things I want to show you guys I've been working on. Um, I started the Granny Square Sunday series, but life happens, so I've missed the past two Sundays. I showed you guys the traditional granny square in the last video so I started this this is three or four balls of the sunrise ombre by big twist and I just kept going round and round and round really gave me candy corn vibes without the bright white I do have animals so cannot get mud out of bright white the only thing I do not like about it and I'll show you you see that center right there that little piece right there comes out if i would have noticed that before i got all this done i would have probably went back ripped it out and cut that little piece off because it just it, it looks very odd you have all this really pretty color and then you have this like petal sticking out right here and i'll call it a petal but it's a shell just sticking out that's the only thing that bothers me about this whole thing don't laugh at me for putting that on my face but this will be a cardigan so what you do for these little cocoon cardigans, whatever you want to call them, when you do them like this, is you fold them in half, you put the middle, my little messed up pedal, and you're gonna pull it out to like a little bit past your elbow, down towards your forearm, if you're wanting it more as a shrug. And then you put a border on it, and then you sew, you sew it together and put a border on it. So I've still got a little ways to go, and I'm, like I said, I think this is three or four skeins of the um, Big Twist at Joanne's Sunrise Ombre is what this is called. But I really love that, it's so soft. It's so soft, I may make me some pillows out of that, I don't know. I started another one in the same way because when I saw it, I got it at Walmart. It was an impulse buy, but I got it at Walmart and it is called Cherry cherry sprinkles, red sprinkles, something like that. Um, but I thought blood and sprinkles, everybody at work keeps telling me it's a Valentine's Day shrug, uh, possibly Christmas. But I'm gonna show it to you anyway because even though they say that, I don't say that. But you leave your opinions in the comments below <laughs> and let me know because if everybody keeps saying Valentine's, then I'll probably just like hang it up till Valentine's Day and book it my 60 mile round trips Joanne to get more sunrise and get my candy corn done but this is the one I got uh, like I said cherry sprinkles it's got red green or of course it has red <laughs> it's the main color is red but it's got green and pink and blue it's got even like a little bit of brown in some places yellow orange and some like the yellow got some orange in there the orange and white, blue, uh, green, pink in some places a little bit more than others. But this I use the same technique for right here is the, the center. 
and you're gonna do the same thing fold it in half put the center up to like the middle of your neck see how far you're going this one I have used 10 a full 10 ounce skein these all come in 10 ounces cherry speckle not sprinkles cherry speckle I'm sorry but I've used um, a whole skein of this and then as much of this one so almost caught up to this one hopefully I can get done with that skein tonight and be done with it but that's really all I have for you guys tonight um as far as like a sh the shrug I'm doing the pattern that I'm following for me that I like is 32 ounces of yarn so this one I had I bought four because three made 30 ounces and then I got the fourth one but also just have a little bit extra to do the ribbing around it and sew it up and everything so I got four of these and I want those 10 ounces for like seven dollars and something I want to say for each one of these I will say though this is typical red heart yarn to me it's not soft like the big twist it's very it's not intolerable but it is a little bit rougher so definitely I will be running a dryer sheet over this when I wash and block it um, but yeah it's a little bit rougher than what I like working with as far as big twist excellent love working with it glides through my hands easy it don't dry my fingers out to where the red heart does sometimes but I fell in love with that color and I was like it's here I have the money I'm gonna grab it and start working on something with it so that's what I did um, with those projects I am using my favorite hook the i9 if you guys cannot tell as my favorite hook and I use it for almost everything I will be using it I will be putting it aside uh, probably in the next couple of weeks I'll be doing a video on how to crochet um, fleece blankets because I've got a couple I need to get done and I've been waiting till I got a quilting ruler to cut and show you guys how to do it yourself so a couple of weeks I will be doing that but until my next video i will see you guys next time stay safe stay crafty and don't forget to like and subscribe bye